project. Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Lit and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I want to check out today is this guy, Wild Fragment Deadeye. He looks awesome. Just look at him. Look at him. <laughs> so what I want to do is actually go down his skills and then we'll maybe get some gameplay with him as well. So obviously to start with then, he's got focused acquisition which we expect from an outlander. Increased chance to find double loot by 6%. So that's good. He also gets loot llamas as well. Now this guy is a fragment specialist, you know, so this is like his thing. So it looks pretty decent. Now I think he's a teddy fragment specialist. We'll go down the list. So we've got teddy here. So it deploys a teddy for 15 seconds. If the outlander is holding a charge fragment, the fragment is consumed. Teddy's cooldown is reduced by 50% and his energy cost is reduced to zero. That's pretty awesome. So Teddy will blast enemies within four tiles for a base of 16 physical damage four times per second. The outlander can hold a maximum of 25 regular charge fragments and one additional llama fragment. He's got Barricade, which we're going to get to later on, but I'll read it out now because it's right here. So Teddy now slows the movement and attack speed of your enemies, but it damages by 30% for 3 seconds. He also gets in the zones after 5 hits in a row with a pickaxe. He gains in the zone, which increases pickaxe damage by 24%. Always love that. And look what I found. Starts the mission with 3 charge fragments. I think he needs that because otherwise you're going to be scattering around before you can even start doing anything. He's got Bear With Me, so increases the duration of the Teddy by 5 seconds. And he's got face shift as well. Love face shift on any hero. You've also got double down, which, as I said on the last video, doesn't make sense because it actually means double up. It's, well, almost double up, doesn't it? But basically, 50% chance to find an additional charge, charge a fragment when collecting fragments. So if you find a blue teddy fragment rather than getting one, you could get two. In fact, every other one, you're going to be getting two. So if you search two charge fragments, you can actually get three charge fragments, which makes him pretty damn awesome. He's also got phased out, so reduces the refill time of phase shift by three seconds. Barricade. Enemies damaged by Teddy have movement and attack speed slowed by 30% for six seconds. Quite important because I believe, you know, from what I've heard and, you know, I've asked, asked around in the Discord a little bit, I've had a look on Reddit, I believe that stacks with your weapons. So if you've got a weapon that does extra damage to slow targets, then this one is going to be absolutely awesome on there as well. He's also got anti-material charge on there, so he can, you know, really good for harvesting, getting through walls. That's recently been buffed as well, given the new patch. You've also got load bearing, so Teddy's damage is increased by 50% if placed with a fragment. So it's kind of important now to get fragments. Before, all the fragments really did was reduce your cooldown time. This now makes fragments extremely useful to this guy. And he starts with three fragments already, don't forget. And then the last one is Impossibility Matrix. Increases the cooldown reduction of Teddy and the Shock Tower by 50% when using a Charge Fragment. So a mobile outlander that gathers a large amount of fragments to continuously place empowered teddies. So everything there looks absolutely awesome. And this is how it looks. Check that out. That looks absolutely wicked. I love the little guitar backpack he's got. Is there something in the guitar case? Yeah. What? My guitar? A bit like Desperado for those of you that are old enough to have seen that film. Such a good film. Okay, so what we're going to do now then, we're going to jump into a mission with him. I'm going to be taking with me Shuriken Master Sarah because I want the ability damage. Because it increases all ability damage by 10%, which obviously includes uh, Wild Fragment Deadeye's Teddy as well. And then of course we're going to take Carbide because he's got Grizzled Veteran, which increases the duration of the Teddy by 5 seconds. So in total, I believe he's probably going to have an uptime on this Teddy of about 25 seconds. You know, 20-25 seconds, which is absolutely awesome. And his downtime with Fragments is what, 5 seconds? So that's, that's pretty darn impressive. Okay, and the weapons that we're going to use, I'm going to use the Silent Spectre, because it's one of my favorites, the Tiger as well, in the second slot. And I'm going to use the Pulverizer that Detective Cheese gave me as well. So let's jump in and see just how good he is. Okay, so we start right in the middle of the action then. Let's try putting one of these teddies down. Bear in mind we start with three charge fragments. So that's not... Bad, the Teddy's not really taking them down that fast, but you know what? His uptime is going to be super quick. Okay, so we got a 20 second wait on that one, so that shouldn't be too bad. Wow, so we got like three blasters there. Do you know what? Oh, wow, there's four. So there's one there, one there, and another one there. So this should be a good test. If I put the Teddy in a good spot, so if we just put the Teddy like... Uh, let's go around the other side of the tree. The side of the tree. Let's put him there. And we'll couple him up with the turrets. And let's see how well he does. Wow, they're not even waking up. 
Yeah, this is this is gonna get bad. I've got nowhere I can get. Quick! You are not. Woo! Alright, well we got a wall up. Wow, we just took them all out. So four blasters and also two baseball gyms as well. Or baseball dans, whatever you want to call them. I've only got one fragment left now though, so I am using them up pretty quickly. There we go, another fragment there. Okay, so let's jump in then. So this is our first encampment. Let's put the teddy up. We have got blasters around. So we've got to see if we can hold our own. We should be absolutely fine. These are the early, early encampments. So we should be good. Alright, a little bit overkill on the teddy there. What it's worth doing as well, which I'm going to do in a second, is asking people to mark the teddy fragments for you as well. Okay, so it's definitely worth asking about. I mean, I've still got two fragments. You start with three. And you can find them quite quickly. So let's get in. Let's get in and help. Because this is what we do, right? We help. Help me, Rod. Help me. Help you. Teddy's down. Turret's up. We've got the ability damage as well. I have accidentally just fell down. <laughs> totally on purpose. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Another turret. Alright. Should actually be good. You're not actually doing much of the firing. Let's go and get that fragment. Because we're going to need these. So we'll back up. What it does as well, reduces the cooldown of the Teddy and make, means that he does more damage as well. So let's keep on with the damage. Let's keep going. Alright, he looks cool. I've got to give him that. Is he going to be Is he going to be good enough compared to the other Outlanders? I'm not sure yet. I am not sure yet. Okay, we have asked if people will mark fragments for us. I suppose that depends on the group that you've got. Look, this guy's run past this one and not marked it. Help me. But it's not their job, if you know what I mean. It's kind of your job to find them as an outlander. Okay, let's get the teddy in. Teddy's in. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Everybody back. <laughs> Alright, I want the tiger on for that blaster. Yeah, that's right. Could really do with some grenades. Do you know what would be great in this game? Like a recording feature like you have in BR. Another one over there. Just picking them out. That's what you got to do in these things. Pick out the blasters. Hopefully we'll get the super encampments done as well. Alright, here we go. I think we're doing well. And look, the teddy's back up already. You're done, encampment. Yeah, we got a llama. Super useful. Super useful. Alright, let's put it down. If anybody wants it. Wow, everyone's run off to the next uh, next encampment already. Well, we're having it. I've got full mats, so I'll just mark it for them. When they're done, we can pick up the cool stuff. Might get some... Uh, you're not going to get like the uh, the precious ores like you get. Do you know? You're not going to get the precious ores like you get with the uh, Pathfinder Jess. But if you press N and just put loot there, then they know they can come and get that later on. Just mark it up for them. Okay, Teddy's up. And don't forget, the Teddy slows all the enemies down as well. So you've actually got that nice little crowd control on with him. And he's got a guitar, which makes him a bit more awesome than every other hero, right? This rock star of a hero. Oh my days. Come on, come on. I have got a turret if things get a little bit too hairy. But let's use it. Tiger for you. That's what it's for. Yeah. Good. I like this guy. I'm not sure he's got the utility that Jess and Grizzly have got. But you can't deny he's a ton of fun to play. And as you guys know, because I've told you already, there's a beam of light that goes up in the sky there. I kind of want to see if uh, if they go and get that loot. I really want them to get it. And we've got four fragments still, so it's not that they're that hard to find. Do you do have to... Do you know, like with the other Outlanders, you can kind of miss them. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's put the teddy down. And yeah, uh, we need to get that guy. All right, this could be tough. Mobility is going to be key here. Put you down quickly. Quickly. I'm going to go down. Well, you know what? Whatevs. Do you know what? How did we survive that? That was good. I think using his mobility is absolutely key. Is the teddy still up? He's over there. Look, look at him blasting away. He loves it. Okay, let's get these guys. Don't blast them towards me. <laughs> Sturdy for the nocturnal. Alright, and if you see as well what the Teddy's doing, he's slowing them down. The Teddy's back up already. He's only just gone down, which is absolutely nuts. 
There's another storm chest over there as well. Okay, should probably stay nearish to the Teddy. Where's the... There he is. Enemies. Yeah, short-range tiger shots. We don't care. Okay, and we got a storm chest. Um, some blue glow, why not? And these are what I'm after. Sturdy for when we get our nocturnal. Uh -uh. Alright, it's probably a good job we saved the turret. Let's go down here. Okay, or not. Alright, there's really not... Do you know, storm chests, I think, sometimes are a bit too easy. I would like them to be a little bit more difficult. It's just a case of turrets and bears now. Wrong gun. Do you know, it's all just turrets and bears. Until the taker comes, and then we just take him down nice and easy as well. I'm going to die when the taker comes, now that I've said that. Order. All right, nobody panic. Nobody panic. Yeah, rate of fire. Okay, Teddy's back up. Now, we are running a bit low on fragments. So we do need to keep a lookout for those. Damn it. Damn you, ninjas. <laughs> All right, so we have to go up and this way. Okay. Oh, yeah, look, they picked up some of the loot. God bless them. Okay, now the reason I'm not using the hoverboard is because I'm looking for fragments along the way. Because I've only got one left. So what I was saying, they're easy to find. <laughs> Most of the time. There we go, let's put him down. So there's the teddy then doing his thing. Oh my god. Right, okay. A lot of this is about good mobility. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, alright. Let's get behind the teddy. That's probably the way we should be. Take out the jumpers. Reload. B dudes. Alright, we're doing alright, you know. How awesome is that? And we've only got, what, four seconds until the next teddy's up? There you go. He's up. Now, this one's not going to be as good because I don't have a charge fragment for him. But maybe that's just a way of balancing him out that actually works. Holy hell. Right. Okay. Okay. Not good. I'm hiding behind rocks from blasters. Let's get the tigers on. Oh, my God. Right. Okay. Not easy. Got to target those blasters nice and early. And the taker. Headshots. Do you know when you've been using the urban assault for so long, you really miss the rate of fire? No. Yeah, we got him. All right, that's where the Spectre would come in more handy. Come on, come at me, bro. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Malachi. <laughs> Oh, another taker. I got him. I don't got him. Now I got him. There we go. How did you die? That's what AFK does for you. Okay, definitely more weapons on here. Wow, okay. Turret up. Turret up. Bear down. Okay, Spectre on. Oh my god. Wow, I love it when you get to the, the harder super encampments. I cannot wait for Twine. There you go. There you go. Alright, we're good. Alright, so remember, target those blasters. Only got six seconds left on the bear. Keep his head down. Take her. Wow, okay, there's lots going on here right now. Reload. I know, I know, I got him, I got him, I got him. There he is, down. Oh, why am I not putting this, why am I not putting this bear down? <laughs> All right, my own fault. My own fault. I should have put the bear down. That would have probably been enough to save us. I love the fact that you can crawl while you're downed now. Okay, he's still alive. Respawning in 30 seconds. Come on, just pick us back up, we got this. So the ninja's back up. Yep, there we go. Oh, look. Definitely a BR player. I didn't die. I was just playing. Yeah, we didn't die. Bear up. Do we even need the bear now? Probably not so much. Two minutes before I have to pull you out. Okay, two minutes. 
Wow. Well, that got crazy fast. Last warning. Okay, you've definitely got to be using... Let's get behind here. Oh, my God. Where are they going to come from? There's one. Get off. Should do it. All right. Bear down again. You've got to keep that bear up. So we've just got to use the mobility of him. He's definitely a skilled hero. You know, you've got to be decent, I think, uh, when you're moving around. Not that I'm the best player, but, you know, it's definitely worth... You know, you've got to be able to utilize him properly. All right, then, guys. So let's look at the rewards we got for this, then. So we got... So level 4 loot, we got some schematic XP, some Eye of the Storm, we got some gold, 30 peeps, which is better than one we got from the earlier video today. I got one people from a, from a llama. It's not even people, is it? That would be one person. And we got 100 amp up. We got Killer Storms completed, so we got the 100 gold for that. And we also got a... Which mission's this one? Amp up, thanks. Don't mind if we do. Okay then guys, so I think I think Wild Fragment Dead Eye is pretty decent. You've got to make sure that you you know you're getting them fragments. That's the hard part. He can definitely hold his own, but he 100 percent relies on that teddy. You know, that teddy is hugely important. I don't know how well he'd hold up in twine. Uh, as I said, I'm not I'm not a Twine Peaks player just yet. Do you know you've got to say though, he looks amazing. He looks absolutely wicked. But do you know one thing that I've got to say? I don't know how well he'll hold up at the higher levels. He's not the best outlander. You know, in Fortnite, save the world, but he's a great outlander, and he's one that could be used. You know, I've, I've said this before, and I was talking to some of the, you know, to one of the Patreons actually yesterday. Uh, we did a voice chat, and you know, I do talk to the people in uh, in the Discord a lot, so make sure you join there, guys, as well. But one thing that you know, I do find is in Save the World is you could use any hero. It doesn't matter what hero you use. None of the heroes that I've found up to now, bearing in mind I'm probably part way through County Valley. None of the heroes are not viable. You know, none of the heroes would let you down if you're like in a mission. If you're under the power level, that might be an issue. You know, and I don't mean this power level here, this power level 82. I'm talking about this one, your home base power. So if your home base power is at the high enough level to do the mission, so far I've experienced you can get through pretty much anything. Which makes Save the World great because it just means you can play pretty much any mission that you want with any hero that you enjoy. I mean, I know not a lot of people like Bulletstorm Jonesy, for example. I absolutely love him. I use him all the time. And I find him, you know, an absolute joy to use just because I enjoy his skills. Okay, from a meta point of view, he's not the best. He's one of the most underrated. He's not the absolute best, though, but he's still decent. So, guys, that was Wild Fragment Dead Eye. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. I'm sure a lot of you have done that already, so a massive, massive thank you to you guys. If you want to talk more about Save the World or even speak to myself, make sure that you join us in the Discord. I would love to meet you guys in there, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.